been known for over three decades that inheritance of the ApoE4 gene conveys risk for uh, development of Alzheimer's. Uh, not only Alzheimer's itself, but early al earlier Alzheimer's. So the ApoE gene uh, uh, comes in three forms, just by minor modifications. Most of us are ApoE3. If we inherit from both parents the ApoE2 gene, which only differs by a couple of amino acids, then we have a decreased risk for the development of Alzheimer's. On the other hand, if we inherit the ApoE4 gene from both parents, we have a 20-fold increased risk for Alzheimer's. So our strategy is a gene therapy strategy to do something your parents can't do, that is change your genetics. And so you, you can't change your parents, but we can change the genetics of your brain. And so the strategy is to convert the ApoE4 brain into an ApoE4 E2 brain using gene therapy. And it's based on the further epidemiology that while ApoE4 inheritance is risky if you're a heterozygote, that is if you inherit ApoE2 and e E4, the E2 takes away the E4 risk. And so the gene therapy strategy is to put the E2 gene within the brain, produce E2, and then convert essentially the brain into a heterozygote or better. Let's assume that it's safe and let's assume it works. Then you could consider uh, in the future in terms of uh, preventive therapy. First, preventive ready for people who have cognitive decline, but also, even more importantly, even earlier with people before they develop cognitive define, decline, because we know that the E4 inheritance, particularly if it's homozygote, that is both from both parents, we know the risk is very, very high. And so uh, any indication of cognitive decline, and if you're ApoE4 homozygote, you're essentially doomed to the development of Alzheimer's. So we could think of it as a preventative even early on, but that would be years down the road.